<laughs> What's up, Collider TV Talk and Collider Heroes fans? Josh McCuga here. We are doing the Defenders reviews. We're going to do episodes one, two, three, and four here before the uh, debut of the show on August 18th. We were lucky enough, thank you to the people at Netflix for sending us the first four episodes. I'm joined today by uh, the lead hero here in the Collider mm -hmm. Video Studios, Mr. John Schnapp. What's up? What's up, man? Hey. This the is fun, up. dude. Yeah, we do this once in a while. We do the TV talk heroes crossover. I love heroes it. Heroes defending each other. It's Defenders, yeah. Who are you? Who, if you're in Defenders, who are you? Boy. Because we know who David is. All right. Um, He's hey, Jessica whoa. Jones. You're Jessica oh, okay, Jones. Okay. Yeah, Jessica like, Jones. Where are you going with that? <laughs> man. <laughs> I would fail in legal. I would, you know, I'd be in jail. Uh, maybe a combo of Luke Cage and Iron Fist. Okay. Yeah, yeah, mix like it that. together with those like guys. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like you have a little more personality than, say, an Iron Fist, but the same amount of uh, like hard nosedness that Luke Cage. So, yeah, a good yeah. A good and color uh, Yeah, I almost started going into spoiler territory, which is like a couple episodes. We're just doing episode one right now. Episode so, one yeah. right now. I just yeah. love how behind Schnepp, Jessica Jones shots like this butt shot. Oh, yeah. It's just butt. Like, that's <laughs> like we, we, we needed to really objectify. Yeah, uh, I think of the crew, I'm probably Jessica Jones, mostly because she drinks a ton. She now. is a badass. Yeah, she, she is, is simply so, yeah. one of the greatest yeah. characters mm -hmm. that Netflix has. And joining us uh, from Collider TV Talk, and also a regular contributor to Collider Heroes, David Griffin. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I love being here. I love yep. talking here. I mean, the last time we were all together was for Iron Fist, and ooh, you yeah. know, that was, that, ooh, 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 that was yes. a little bit of a rough review, so I'm glad that <laughs> yeah. we're here talking about Defenders, this new iteration in the Marvel TV when universe. When we got off, when we were finished with Iron Fist, I thought that YouTube Ooh. was going to literally come at us with pitchforks, and most of YouTube was like, yeah, you guys kind of know that. Because no, you know, we were right. Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's a pretty bad series, yeah, you know. For sure. All right. Well, so we're talking episode one here. Um, mm -hmm. Start with you, Schnapp. Overall, overall feelings going into this episode and when when it was done. How'd you? So before I started watching Defenders, kind of trepidatious. Like I'd seen a little the, the preview, uh, you know. But literally coming from Iron Fist to get into the Defenders is like you start out at a high point with Daredevil, yeah. then you move not as good, but almost as good, Jessica Jones. Mm -hmm. Then Luke Cage, where the first six were just stellar, and the last half not as stellar. Yeah. And then Iron Fist, just not really good overall. Mm -hmm. A couple of cool standout moments, you know, descending order going into Defenders. I was like, what's gonna happen? Right. Explosion of awesomeness. I I really like the first episode for me was great because they reintroduce all of the characters and they kind of reset Iron Fist. They reset yes. Danny Rand uh -huh. and they reset the actor Finn gets a chance to actually portray Iron Fist. Right. Dan, uh, uh, as as a instead of like his 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 fist, like him, you know, like the light bulb's not working. Right. Why isn't it working? Right. He just all he needs to do is find that chi, and he's there. But more so, he wasn't a whining crybaby. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. that that's the part of the, the Iron Fist, the whole overall series, where I just really didn't empathize with him ever, and mm -hmm. he just seemed like oh, he's crying and being whiny, but yet he's also he, I'm the immortal Iron Fist. So mm -hmm. I like that the the writers in this have a little joke where he ha where the we he even says, "Well, I'm the immortal Iron Fist." Is so you know yeah. hubris and like so you know everyone's like, "Would you shut up? Yeah, what, what, yeah. what's wrong yeah. with you? Yeah. Why do you keep saying that?" Yeah. I love I love and that's the greatest thing is they they got Rand and Luke Cage in the same room together. And they just don't like each other, especially right. after the very first. You know, let's let's go bit by bit. Yeah. You got Rand fighting Electro. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. not Electro, Electra. Yes, um, yeah. that's a great way to intro the scene, the the entire the series. series. It's a setup yeah. in the sewer, it, but we don't even see her. Right, it's all in shadows. Yeah, you kind of get the idea. If you're a sweaty, you're like, she's got the red. You're like, all right, that's got that has yeah. to be Electra. But, right, you know, and, we don't know. And I complained, you know, after Iron Fist, and you know, Schnapp kind of called me out in, in, a, in a very in a good way you know i said you know like when i want to see martial arts i want to see you know tv martial arts movie martial arts i want to see the matrix i want to see stuff like you know um uh why can't the raid the, the raid i want to see stuff like the raid but right. you know stuff like david that, that that's a movie and those guys are also pros not that the mm -hmm. people that work on iron fist aren't pros too but they they want the actors faces in the shots yes. so those guys aren't like the guys from the raid like they're not trained they're not you know right. they're not trained to do that so I took a step back and I was like, okay, I need to lower my expectations when it comes to the fight, and I understand that. But I thought they stepped it up. Yes, that first fully. fight when he first encounters Electra was dope. Yeah, it was a good fight. I was yeah. like, this is great, and you could see his face in some it had of the elements shots. of like a Guy Ritchie kind of. Kind yeah, of stuff. it looked totally. great. The uh, fight choreography. I know this. These are different showrunners. Right. These are the Daredevil two season showrunners. Right. So I love the action in Daredevil season two, and I love the action in the Defenders. And I love that it's like your fight is not here. 
get right. to New York. Right. Yeah. And and the girl who plays Colleen Wing, who uh, yeah. you know most Jessica recently, Jessica Henwick. Yeah. Jessica Henwick, who I, who I loved in Iron Fist. I thought she was probably my favorite mm -hmm. character. Definitely. Uh, just had a had a tragic uh, such situation in Game of Thrones. I won't go into more of that. So she's full time in Defenders now. Yep, right. And I thought th I I like their their duo because when they finally get to Luke Cage in the dojo. Um, there's a little more of a like a loving kind of a thing going mm -hmm. on because of of where their relationships are and everything. Uh, I did I I liked that we started with Iron Fist, but that we went kind of direct into the Luke Cage situation. Well, yeah, I mean, I think that the the setup of all four of the defenders and the, how they're completely don't know each other, no. yet they have little connecting tabs as they introduce like. Oh, Luke Cage meets Foggy. You let them call you that. There's yes. like little right. lines in that. Like I don't know. Which when is what gonna... I've been saying from day one. They're like Foggy, Foggy. Yeah. <laughs> Name is so stupid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I love that Luke Cage called. Now, him are we gonna it. are we gonna rock into spoilers? I mean, have we gone into the I general? Think we, like I think we've right. done the general enough. Right. Yeah. You see, how did you feel about episode one? I I I I liked it. I enjoyed it, but I was a little hesitant at first. I'll be honest. Because of coming off from Iron Fist and coming to the Defenders, I was like. The first episode was okay. I was like, it's mostly set up. Right. Let's see what happens. I got to give him some time. And then we're going to get into episode two in another video, of course. And then it really takes off. But when I look back after watching the first four episodes, I really appreciate episode one because they don't rush. They take their time. Can we please talk about the colors? Yeah. That is one of my favorite things about if you, when you watch the, the spoiler, oh, yeah. the transition, every character has a different hue yeah. around them. When you're Jessica Jones, it's it's blue and purple and gray. When you're with Luke Cage, everything's has this like yellow tint to it. Right. Iron Fist, it's green. Daredevil, there is always red. Even when it's not a spoiler to say they're obviously gonna all come together and be the defenders, obviously, that's what right. the show's called. Even when Daredevil's in a room with Jessica Jones, there's like a red door behind him mm. accenting her blue and purple. Like it's just it's that's a gorgeous it's genius filmmaking. way You're to do it. It's beautiful. Film. Yeah, yeah, I love film. it. I think that's one of my favorite things about this. I know it's silly yeah. the colors, but it's one of my favorite things about the show. Yeah, I think overall for me, because uh, I got to see the first episode of Comic Con mm -hmm. because they they showed it at, at Hall H, and I, I loved it mostly because it felt. And I love origin stories. I, I love origin stories. So the setup of the origin of the Defenders is where they all are. Mm -hmm. Got me really really excited for episode two. That I was right. almost. I loved that they did it at the panel, but I was really pissed that they did it at the panel because I'm like. F, now I have to wait this much until the thing. Uh, the one thing I took away without saying any spoilers is that Sigourney Weaver is an absolute badass. She's a beast. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, I was going to ask you what you thought of her because I think I think her setup as well in episode one mm -hmm. is great because they they create a ticking time bomb. Yes. You know, just in the in just the setup of her character. You she know? doesn't have to do anything when she's on screen. Good or bad? That yeah. coat she was wearing, man. Man, that yeah. coat she looks sharp. Like Tom Hanks in Road to Perdition. Yeah, she's she's, <laughs> she's a, a boss. She's All a right. badass woman. Yeah. Let's, now let's, let's get, get into, into some spoilers. spoilers. Yeah. So if you guys uh, don't want to be spoiled, I would turn away now. We'll give you a couple seconds to turn away. Uh, turn we're gonna away. get into spoilers mm -hmm. here in episode one. So in three, two, one. All right, let's get into some spoilers. All right. So, so I, I wrote down like. Yes. Uh, so Luke Cage, the you know the scene with him in prison where he's just walking along and everyone's clapping. Yeah, for him. yeah. what they a love great him. intro mm -hmm. because it just shows you how loved and beloved Luke Cage is. Yes, even though he's in prison, everyone knows he's a hero. Right, right. And right. even though he's getting out early, he's snapping those cuffs off because he always could. Let if me help. He wanted you. to. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Like That's he could have bent thing. those bars open. He could have done anything he wanted. He's like, you know what? I'm a man of the people. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do my time. And that's when we finally get the little connective tissue of a Foggy Nelson, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Who, who now is working for uh, uh, Carrie Ann Moss yeah. in in her, which mm -hmm. we got at the end of Daredevil season so two. So he's also working alongside. I don't know if they're dating right now, but his ex girlfriend, like yeah. they're all they're all working. I like together. that yeah. hot sassy blonde. Yeah. She's, she's great. Yeah, I love her. Yeah, 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 she's great. Foggy's Carrie got a Moss's good girl. name. I think is Hogarth. Hogarth. Yeah. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who has the connective tissue with uh, Jessica Jones? Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. And and her uh, Trish Talk uh, mm -hmm. friend, yeah. who, who I, I always talk. like, I always like to get a little the hottest little morning show in New York. <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> and then and and the connective tissue between Jessica Jones and Luke Cage, yeah. and then Claire Temple, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage. There is like a funny little sexual triangle going right. on here. Totally. Uh, but I, I did. I I thought that. Luke Cage getting out of prison and going straight to Harlem and seeing what the situation is going mm -hmm. on. They got right into his storyline and they got right into Jessica Jones' storyline. Totally. Line. Yeah. yeah Which, Jessica Jones starts off right where she left off. Right. A drunkard, still not doing her job, still fighting herself. She's got a lot of inner demons that yeah. she's, you know, obviously just don't go away like mm -hmm. that. You know? Right. I mean, Kilgrave owned her brain yeah. for a long time. Uh, I, 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 I said to Schnapp when I, when I saw and I, when I talked mm -hmm. to you about, 
I've ne- I was when I watched the Jessica Jones series. I think it was because it was right after Daredevil. I wasn't super sold by it. I mean, I liked it. Now the more I go back and think about it, I think I like it a little more. Mm-hmm. But I thought she was kind of the standout badass of this first episode. Yeah. Oh yeah, because she's a, she, <laughs> she's not like me. But I, you know, you want to drink, you want to go on a little bit of a bender. Mm-hmm. But she does. She is a superhuman person, and what she has, I think, a lot of the others don't have, is the brain. Right. She yeah, sees four smart, or five yeah. steps ahead. She's a, yeah, right. sleuth. She's a detective. Yeah. So, you mm-hmm. know, once she's kind of triggered and on it, she's on it. Like, yes. You know. yeah. um, I wanted to mention Murdoch's not Daredevil anymore, but he's no. still yeah. doing good, you know, fighting the good fight, doing jobs like for pro bono. Right. right? Mm-hmm. But, you know, it's, I got to say. $11 million. Dollars. Yeah, right. And mm-hmm. it's like, and I like the, the the speech that he gives to the kid, too, because he's really like looking at a mirror. Like right. he's like yeah. saying what he's had to deal with. Yep. Um, I got to say, though, for me, the standout character in this in this opening episode was Danny Rand. Oh, okay. Because okay. I didn't hate him. I didn't think he was a little crybaby, whiny. I, it's, it kind of put, like I said earlier, it's, did a reset on on Iron Fist. It, yeah. it made you, like, just with him having that guilt dream on the plane mm-hmm. with the Kunlun and all that, it kind of, it, you didn't even have to ever have seen Iron Fist ever. And if you're watching uh, Defenders 1, 2, 3, and 4, you get enough of a backstory of the whole situation with who is the immortal Iron Fist, what does he do, what are his powers, why is he here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I, I think, think it's they, fantastic. Yeah, I think they, they just didn't have enough fun with him, you know, in the first season of Iron Fist. I mean, you had this supernatural, super powerful, you know, martial arts guy. Yeah. Just go crazy. Like, yeah. we don't need corporate espionage no. and corporate takeovers. I mean, if I want to watch Wall Street or Wolf of Wall Street, those <laughs> right. classic <laughs> movies, like, I'll watch those, but yeah. I want to see those some crazy kicks and crazy punches. And that's what they did with this. And when he does say, I'm the Immortal Iron Fist every time, of course, everybody makes fun of him. It's like, have fun with his character. And they did that. And I, I really applaud them for that. I think they yeah, did a great no. job. I, I love Danny Rand, too, in this. Loved him. Yeah. Because, again, I, I might have been like the biggest <clears throat> proponent against Iron Fist just because of Danny Rand and his acting and everything. Yeah. But I think because they're they're treating him a little bit like the little brother and stuff yeah. like that. If you look at it like that, mm-hmm. it's kind of awesome because, yes, he's immortal Iron Fist, but he has no idea what to do with it. Yeah, no, right. And yeah. I think but he's Finn learning. Jones really shines in this too. Yeah. Like yeah. I was like, ah, eh, when I was when, in his own series. Sure. But in this, he's like a standout, and I mm-hmm. think it really is the dialogue and the way it's being directed. Yep. I liked Alexandra's like. She's got that ticking time bomb. Now we could say she's dying. Yes. So she's setting up, and she's part of the hand. Right. And she's setting up with Madame Gao. Alexander, entire... we should say, is Sigourney Weaver. Yeah, Sigourney right. Weaver. Mm-hmm. So she's setting up this entire... We don't know what the plan is yet. Nothing. Right. But, uh, you know, all, as we individually see all of these solo defenders right now kind of coming together, and, and Jessica Jones finds out about that uh, Raymond character, the right. architect. right. It's yeah. almost it has like a Rogue One feel to it. Yeah, it you does. know what I mean. He's he's the architect mm-hmm. putting this whole thing together because, you know, Sigourney Weaver's last line is "It's just a city," right? And she's trying to topple the city and mm-hmm. basically put an earthquake together. But the earthquake is like the opening of this, or them trying right. to break through this wall, right? And uh, and the bringing of the hand back into New York. There was it's it's a magical scene of her at the end because she, you know Earth New York is basically shaking from an earthquake at least what people think you know you see Daredevil kind of overreact because he can he hears everything he right. hears everything yeah. and them all being in some sort of in a different place when all this goes on and then she turns to see Electra and you're like aha yeah that's because Electra say what you want about Daredevil season two everybody's like Punisher was a breakout Punisher was a breakout star which he was. But Electra was no, nothing to shake a stick. She was yeah. great. Yeah, yeah. I thought El- was... Elle Young was awesome. She's just fearsome. I mean, for, she's, not, she's not a big woman. She's a small girl, right. but yeah. she looks she looks incredible. She's fierce. She's powerful. Also, too, I love Sigourney Weaver's character Alexandra and Madame Gao because mm-hmm. Madame Gao for me is like the ultimate badass. She, she's yeah. an evil Yoda. Yeah, you know, she's got yeah. the cane. She's like, oh, my cane, but she just does this and she can push you thirty feet. Sure. But when Sigourney shows up, she's like. Like subservient to her, yeah, like right. Sigourney's her boss, and I'm like, Madame Gao has a boss, right? right? Really? You find yeah. out a few episodes down the line why she's afraid, right? Of, oh, yeah, right. exactly. Sure, right, right, right. right. Yeah. sure. Mm-hmm. So overall, season episode one was more of a setup, mm-hmm. but a, a, a very dynamic setup episode yeah. to see that they're all sort of chasing a similar villain, mm-hmm. all bringing them together under the hand. Yeah. So and if you're watching this, you're coming off Iron Fist and you you didn't enjoy Iron Fist and you're still, of course, watching this review through the spoilers, stick with it. If you're like, oh, this just kind of feels set up like it's a little bit slow, stick with yeah. it. There's Promise some you. Payoff stick with it. coming yeah, at you. There's there some yeah. payoff coming yeah. at you. Mm-hmm. Some more payoff coming at you guys. Episode two is next uh, of Defenders. Where can the good people find you on the internet before we get out of here, John Schnapp? 
Oh, you can just find me on Twitter and Instagram, just at John Schnapp. There you go. Yeah, Good same Griffin. thing, Twitter and Instagram, but at Griffin DE. <laughs> I'm looking at the wrong camera while I was looking over here like, hey, what's happening? <laughs> at Griffin DE. <laughs> and I'm at Josh McCuga, Twitter and Instagram, Collider TV Talk, every day live, 11 a.m. Heroes is daily now as well with John Schnapp and his cast of yep. crazy oh, human that beings. Daily activity that now. Daily awesome. activity, loving it. Uh, we'll be back talking episode two of Netflix and Marvel's Defenders. Hey guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.